Installing the Kohler Venza Bath and Shower Faucet This video demonstrates the installation of the bath and shower trim. A video demonstrating the installation of the valve is also available. For this installation, you will need the following tools and materials. Measuring tape, utility knife, strap wrench, sealant tape, Phillips in flat blade screwdrivers, 1 8 inch hex wrench, rags, thermometer, sealant, and emery paper. Follow all local plumbing and building codes. Start by installing the tube for the bath spout so it extends between 3 and 7 8 inches and 4 and a quarter inches from the finished wall. Use emery paper to remove any burrs. Clean up debris. Loosen the set screw on the spout. Do not remove the set screw. Slide the spout onto the tube. Tighten the set screw to secure. Apply sealant around the spout, leaving a gap at the bottom. Wipe away any excess sealant. Slide the wall plate onto the shower arm. Apply sealant tape to the threads of the shower arm. Thread the shower arm into the elbow. If needed, use a strap wrench to tighten. Slide the plate against the wall. Remove the bonnet adapter from the valve. Measure the distance from the finished wall to the end of the valve stem. If the distance is between 1 and 3 16th inches and 1 and 7 8 inches, use the shorter end of the reversible adapter. If the distance is between 1 and 1 inches and 2 and 1 16th inches, use the longer end of the reversible adapter. Make sure the valve is closed. Fit the reversible adapter onto the valve stem. Make sure the adapter is level. If the adapter is not level, remove the adapter and rotate it in 90 degree increments until level. Secure the reversible adapter to the valve with the short screw. Warning! Risk of scalding. High water temperature can cause severe burns. Set the water temperature at or below 120 degrees Fahrenheit. To adjust the maximum temperature, remove the limit stop on the end of the valve. Open the valve and use a thermometer to measure the water temperature. When the water reaches the desired maximum temperature, replace the limit stop so it cannot turn past that point. Turn off the water. Mark and cut the plastic drip guard approximately a quarter inch beyond the finished wall. Press the upper and lower valves to verify they are in the most outward position. Measure the distance from the finished wall to the end of each push button valve. If the distance is between 1 and 1 8 inches and 1 and 9 16 inches, use the short spacer. If the distance is between 13 16 inches and 1 and 3 16 inches, use the long spacer. Thread a spacer onto each valve and adjust until they are 1 and 3 quarter inches from the finished wall. Reattach the bonnet adapter. Make sure that the foam gasket is installed to the back of the faceplate. Position the faceplate over the valve with the notch oriented down. Point the handle down and hold it in place while securely hand tightening the bonnet to the valve. Make sure the gasket is fully compressed and the faceplate is tight against the wall. Turn on the water and run water through the shower arm to remove any debris. Apply sealant tape to the shower arm and install the shower head. If needed, use a strap wrench to tighten. Turn on the water. Check all connections for leaks.